Well, fishing tonight, guys. Things are flying around out here. It's only 50 mile an hour. It'll be fine later. Trust me. Hey, Alan. Is it too late? Is it too late to cancel the gherkins for my order? Well, you want to take the pickles out? No, I don't like it. I just don't like it. There's some hard cash. Have, a, have an amazing day. Excellent. <laughs> you got to give him a bit of love. Hey, can we get mullet in? For what? Mullet in. Mullet in? Look, look, look where it's, it's, it's only over there. Yeah, we're not going mullet in. That's mullet. What, we finished doing mullet. that. Mullet. Oh. Yeah, can I get an extra four, please? Because I'm not sweet enough. Oh, it's only just over there. Nope. <laughs> Here we are guys and welcome back. Say hello wingman. Hello guys. Yes, we're on our way to Big Bree Bay. Another day, another beach, a different beach, Big Bree Bay. 55 mile an hour northwest winds all day. Trees down, leaves everywhere. We're on it. We've got some lucky lug. We've got some wicked crab. And Aaron's behind me in the car, so we're um, Aaron's out with us tonight. We're guiding Aaron, and this is this is going to be all over by seven o'clock. This wind, so hopefully we're going to be on the schoolies again tonight. Yes, all in. We are all in tonight. We are here. I'm the Bass Man. Pleased to meet you guys. Hello to all the new subscribers. Another thirty odd or whatever it was yesterday. Welcome along. I'm a serious angler who doesn't take himself too seriously. <laughs> We'll see you down there. <laughs> Go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Big Brew Bay. Big Brew Bay. Big Brew Bay. Yes. We are at Big Brew Bay. Another beach. Big Brew Bay. Fancy that, guys. 50 mile an hour winds. We don't give a shiz. We are here. Aaron's here, say hello. Hello. So Aaron's gonna get schoolied out tonight, hopefully. Yeah. He's gonna get schooled. That's the plan. He's yeah. been schooled already. Rock on, Tommy. Let's go fishing, guys. What did I say about the leader knot, Brett? <laughs> oh, is that the leader knot? No. Yes, it is. Come on. What did I tell you? <laughs> Don't need a leader. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> that Here we are. Slow and steady, mate. Keep that rod up, baby. Yee -hoo! He's over the top, isn't he? Hang on, you're on my line there, look. Go on, mate. It's decent fish, isn't it? Easy, easy, easy. Go on, son. Go on, mate. Oh yeah! Here we go, son! Go on, mate, get it up the beach. Woohoo! Yes. Mate! Oi! Good start. Mate! Didn't take long, bud. What did I tell ya? What did I tell ya? Last man does it again. Don't swear. Don't swear. Sorry, people. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hang on, let me put Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sort the rod out first, mate. Fighting, eh? Yeah, mate. I haven't got the sun on it. Hang on, I'm the wrong way around. Yeah, so Aaron's had a bit of a disaster there with his hand. Yeah. Not, not, 
I'm not going to zoom in on it, so... Uh, yeah, baby! Hang on, go around that way. Yes, mate! What a beauty! What a beauty, good start. And it was a good scrap as well. It was a good scrap, it went right over there. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, mate. Didn't take long, did it, Didn't boys? Take long. <laughs> hey, wingman! Let's get it back. Hang on, hang on, I'm going to get a picture. Proof of uh, release. All going back. What's it? Kissing him and putting back, eh, hey, Aaron? Yeah. And he's he's gone. gone. Top man for release, well done. Okay. okay. <laughs> what happy guy. Yeah, so here we are, look. So I'm just telling Aaron about bait presentation and how to put the worm on and everything. Not that he doesn't know that anyway. So I've got a nice single lug worm on there, guys, and a circle hook, which isn't uh, fixed. I can move it up and down. So I'm going to put a crab on this in a minute, next cow. But what I'll very often do, and I've told Aaron, is I'll just put one upside down, not hang it like that, and maybe another one. So anything small that you don't really want you can go on the hook, and it just and it just wafts around nice in the, in the tide. Yeah. So a nice lug bait there, mate. Ready? Can we get another let's, one? Let's do it. Let's do it, get another one. He's in again. In again. Yeah, watch your fingers this time. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, nice little one. Yeah, what well up, mate? Cheers, buddy. So two setups tonight here, guys and girls. I've got my light set up with the Stradix my favourite setup really, the leader, Icon old school bass rods, fiberglass, yeah, and we've, we've gone up a bit to the MX1s, 13 foot rods with the big fixed balls, 20 pound line, lo no leader, weed, <laughs> is that weed or fish? <laughs> Another small one. Well done, mate. And they all count. They all count. There'll be a big one next. So here we are, halfway through the session, guys and girls. Got a few bass, but we've been really, we've been pushed off where we were. Round the front, oh my God. It is just actually pumping in there, as you'd expect, after high winds like that. And another thing uh, to note, guys, this place has changed. So it's really, really shallow here now. And this is a big tide. And when I used to fish this years ago, I'd be up on these rocks fishing pretty much where Brett and Aaron are standing now. So yeah, it's been really tricky today. We're not, we're not finished by a long shot, but there's quite a bit of weed coming in. And uh, yeah, we're not far off high tide and it's not hardly covered the bar. And it is pumping in out there, guys. And it's very windy, which is why I've just come into this little cove. Just getting dark. 
tide's just turning. Aaron's in again. Have you another little one? Nice top, mate. They all count, bud. Yeah. Just uh, put the rod in the rest, dude. And then just give us a little presentation before we and hook him while he's still up, yeah? Beauty. This one's a bit bigger, isn't it? A bit bigger than the last couple, yeah. <laughs> Cack handed. In the circle, look like. Let's have a look. It's my stinger rig. Yep, in the circle. Yep. They're all pinned on the stingers, guys. Let's have a look, show him. He's only a little babby, but... Yeah, that hook goes backwards, mate. They don't get off, do they? They don't get off. But they're really hard to unhook, aren't they? Yep. There you go. So we haven't, uh, we haven't hit the big time tonight, really, because of the conditions. But we haven't finished yet. No. Uh-oh. I've only got boots on. Hey, hey. They're still coming, aren't they? Go on, mate. Lovely. Yeah, so I haven't got any waders. Because I'm a tart. Off he goes. Yeah, they all go back these days. Apart from the odd one for the table. Maybe, I don't know, a couple of year. All right, son? Been a bit quiet tonight. Yeah, mate, struggling. Yeah, I know. We all are, mate. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of weed out there tonight as well. Luckily, the wind's dropped now, so I can actually film something. Yeah. There's enough. It's enough to. It's enough to pee you off. Oh. Whoa! I'm out of here. Ha <laughs> ha you can't get me. Yeah, nice. I think we're going to catch a few now on the ebb. Very, very nice. Come on, wingman. Pull your socks up. Hang on, I'll do it for him. What? Just pulling your socks up. <laughs> More worm, Vicar? More worm, please. Okay, dope. Yeah, so it's my job to run up and down the beach and grab the worm or the crab or whatever we're using. Um, when I'm guiding, I really, really work hard. What's going on with this focus, guys? Yeah, so when I'm out guiding, I'm working it all the time. Um, you know, I do not fish when I'm guiding unless the client really wants me to fish one rod. And if I do that, I'll be doing that for them, not for me. I won't mind in anything. Uh, so that works with a few of my regular clients. They like to see me fish a rod. Uh, and and on, the, in, on the mullet front, I will fish a rod for the client because it works, you know, and, the, and it's more chance of fish. So yeah, it's a lovely lug today. Lucky lug from Rob's in Plymouth. And a few crab. There we are, so a wingman's changed position there to the left. He's not been doing very well on the right side there. And we've just been picking away really at small stuff. But you know. Give it a few quick pumps, mate, just on the handle. Come on, buds. Slow down a little bit. <laughs> That's a really fast retrieve, that Stratic. That's it. Yeah. There we go. That one's 
donde ya, ya te fue. Is that one on the main hook? Yeah, one on the main hook. Another little schoolie, mate. Another little schoolie. They all count, bud. Yeah, so here we are, guys. Just, um, just obviously coming into bait up again. There's the circle hook there. It's been doing the business tonight, most of them. And I'd just like to say, guys, that this is my tip of the day, right? So if I can give you one tip today, it would be this. Check your hook every time you come back in because the sand, it may not look sharp. Every time you're dragging your hook through the sand, it does actually blunt the hook. So just make sure it's sticky. I'll keep going on about it. And then you know that Mr. Bass is gonna get hooked and he's not gonna spit the hook on you. So that's mega, mega important. And all I've been doing tonight is one up, one down. So pull that one up and then just literally shove that one off the bottom like that. That's how I've always fished for years and years. I don't have a big bait up here. You know, I don't have four or five lug. I have that one there hanging off and I've got more chance of them then hooking up and not missing the bait, you know what I mean? So there you go, top tip. Make sure your hook sharp and your, and your rear gunner. Nice. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> there you go, mate. That's a bit better, isn't it? Oh. A little bit. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Stick back here. It's on the main hook. So just a heads up, guys. The tide's obviously dropping, but because of there's such a strong swell out there, surge coming in, obviously to our left, it's holding back the tide and it's making it really um, unpredictable at the moment. So I'm having to run up and down. Yeah, because my waders are too small, they're just uncomfortable. He's pulling them out though, one after another. I think we're on 10. Literally just cast this out two minutes ago. Another schoolie. He's on fire. Yeah. Number ten. On the big one. Really unpredictable now. Wind against tide. All going back tonight. Amazon tape, five ninety nine. <laughs> so 
So I bought some Amazon glow in the dark tape. And I put it obviously on my rod rest. I get loads of people asking me about the link for that. It's just on Amazon glow in the dark tape. And it's really good. I've got it on my bucket as well, so I never lose it when I'm on the beach on my own. Check it out. There you go. You can see that from miles away. Really good stuff. Another top tip. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be ashamed, mate. You've done your best. There you go. You didn't blank. In a circle? Yeah. On my stinger rigs, guys. There you go. Let's have a look. Yes. Pinned, look. Pinned with the big one as well, wasn't he? Yeah. Double pinned. Available on my rig shop, guys, on my fishing guide's website fishingguysdevon.co.uk forward slash shop. Loads of rigs on there. Yes. That cheered him up. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, guys. That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Well done, mate. You had a really... Yeah, good session. I mean, no, well, there was mate. no. Thank yeah, you. mate. Ten one. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't just you didn't just say ten one to wingman, did you? I did. Oh damn it! But hey, wingman stop. struggled tonight, didn't you, mate? But that's fishing, you know. You did, did get into your groove. That's it, mate. That's it. But um, I was with you all night, wasn't I, mate? And your first fish was a PB. It was probably around the sort of two and a half, three pound mark, wasn't yeah, it? Give or take. Give or take. take. It got too excited. And it ripped his finger wide open. Yeah. And that, that did look a bit nasty earlier, but we sorted that out. Yeah, right. And yeah, so thanks very much for watching the video, guys. And uh, give us a like, give us a comment or a question. Or if you haven't subscribed, hit the hit subscribe button. You know, we, we're going to be hitting all the beaches. And um, Wingman's going to be on fire next time, ain't you, mate? Certainly am, mate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and well done mate on your on your session tonight i know it wasn't easy the, the conditions were rubbish weren't they yeah mate. we've had 55 mile hour northwest winds all yeah, day it, it was supposed to drop off at seven and it didn't um that really messed up the fishing we couldn't really get into a rhythm could we guys nope. um but yeah that's that's fishing but Aaron, you did really well. Nice to see you again, mate. And you, mate. Regular. Yeah, definitely be coming again. And uh, yeah, tight lines, guys, and we will see you soon. And check out my playlist if you haven't already. I've done loads of playlists, so go to my channel, select playlists, and binge away, guys. <laughs> and we'll see you next time in the wonderful world of fishing. Tight lines. Tight lines.